dear learner now we'll uh, know something about snakes uh, how they live the mode of life and different types of adaptations uh, for their life history strategies we know about in this topic so snakes as you know snakes are the most evolved reptiles of uh, reptiles and they are uh, have a very very special characteristic the first of them and it's common to all the reptile is that the snakes are also ectotherm ectotherm means uh, they cannot regulate their body temperature so to maintain their body temperature they depends on the external source that is the sun so that's why we see snakes or other reptiles come out in the morning and they bask under the sun so that from there they regulate uh, the body temperature and they can also digest their food so that's why they are ectotherm and we mammals we are endothermic animals so their body is covered by scales like most of the reptiles also their body is covered by scales this is one of the character and the most important character of the snake which make a snake is that snakes don't have any limbs they don't have any uh, hind limb neither they have a fore limb so they are completely devoid of limbs and another characteristics that makes snake unique is that snake don't have a maxillary joint so their both upper and lower jaw are not joined at the uh, posterior part and that's why snake can uh, uh, can ex uh, can expand its mouth more than uh, we can uh, we can imagine and that's why a small snake can ingest a very large prey just imagine that how python can eat a large deer so that is the only reason why because they have a don't have a maxillary joint so they can um, they can take a big uh, food and they take the food to uh, hold they never chew it and another characteristic of the snake is that they don't have any eyelids so all the lizards they have eyelids but uh, snakes don't have a eyelid and another character is that snake don't have any ear opening so the ear opening what we have or other animals have snake don't have that so and snakes are the most recent of all the reptiles so by photography also we can say so this is a lizard and this is a snake and here we can see the ear opening in lizard is present here but snakes don't have any ear opening and then coming to the eyelid we can see here in lizard they have a eyelid so they can close the eye but in case of snakes they don't have any eyelids so it is eye is always open so shape and size snakes as you know one of the most remarkable animal and their diversity life form is uh, is is of tremendous uh, tremendous value to nature also and because they have a different type of uh, shape and size so we we get lot of snakes which are we known as uh, blind snakes they grow live under soil and since they live under soil they don't need the eye so their eye is almost uh, vestigial so they are also known as blind snake which only grow 10 to 30 cm long and then we ha we see lot of uh, snakes around us which grow 1 to maybe 6 ft long so most of the our native snakes grow uh, fall into this category but snake also can grow up to 35 ft so this is one of the picture it's like anaconda which is such a big snake can eat a large crocodile also but the longest recorded snake is a reticulated python which uh, is recorded as 35 ft long color and variety snake's color and variety is unmatched the only animal can matched with the color and variety is the butterflies so uh, we have astonishing diversity in color and form so this is one of the vine snake non venomous snake and uh, it's known as vine snake because its body is very thin and it completely matches with the uh, vines of the forest and it's tail like this so this is one of the green snake of the forest then we have very common species in assamese it is known as bamuni hap very common and we have uh, this buff colored strip running all around, along the body so this is a very small uh, hardly 1 ft uh, to 1.5 ft uh, feet long and it's very common snake in and around our uh, houses but this is one of the forest species this is known as cat snake why cat snake because their eyes you can see it's like more like a cat and these cat snakes are uh, um, feed on lizards and birds so these um, they are nocturnal snake they come out in the night time 
So this is you can see plain brick colored uh, and then another uh, beautiful snake is the dendrolepis or the bronze back tree snake. So this bronze back tree snake they they stay on the uh, uh, for forest uh, uh, vegetation and they are very fast moving and you can also see they have a very large eye. So these are all non venomous and having the diversity in coloration. You can see this coloration in the middle of their scales. So whenever somebody wants to kill them or catch them, they expand their body and they show this coloration. So this is one of the warning coloration for this snake. Then we have another green snake. So this is another cat snake. It comes down in the night time and they live on the high on trees and um, they feed on birds. So this is a green cat snake. And then we have another species called Rhabdophis, the red neck killback. So this uh, red neck shows that they have a red neck on, so that's why they are known as red neck killback. And why they are killback? Because their scales are very highly killed that is, that is their scales are not rough they are very um, uh, their, uh, their scales are rough and not smooth so this one of the characteristic and then another this is called uh, uh, eastern cat snake with a beautiful pattern on the y shape pattern on the body and the arrow head shape mark which is very common around Guwahati city and then beautiful uh, lycodon or wolf snake all the scales of the body is like having two yellow spots so and then another mountain snake which uh, found in Arunachal Pradesh it's a bluish body with a yellow uh, particular bands dorsal laterally so this one of the this is the aquatic snake and we from this we can imagine the diversity in color and form in snakes also snake are the animal which inhabit almost all parts of the uh, earth and without any hands and limbs they can they can be present anywhere so this blind snake, as I already told you, they don't have an eye, so they live under soil and they move under soil also. They feed on ant and termite larva. So because they live under uh, soil, they don't need the function of eye. So their eye is rudimentary. And then there are some a lot of snakes we see on the ground. So these ground dwelling snakes are very fast moving. You can see the body when they move, they have some portion of the body comes uh, above the soil and so these are terrestrial snakes and diurnal species we we see many of these animals then there are other snakes which live on the trees also so without hands and limbs they can climb straight trees so this is very unique how they do this so the tree snakes they develop their very rough scales along their belly so what happened with this rough scales they can easily climb the vertical surface and their body weight is very low so which aid in their climbing and then there are so many snakes which live in the water also although there are sea snakes but we don't have sea snakes in northeast india but we have some other aquatic snakes uh, the most famous is the dhora hawk we call or xenocropis or common water snake so these water snakes uh, one adaptation they develop is that their nostril opening is is located slightly upward so since it is located slightly upward it helps in movement along the along the uh, water so water is not easily go into the nostril so by the looking at the eye uh, we can say which snake is uh, can move at what time so this is a round pupil so round pupil uh, signifies that this snake is a day moving snake day active snake and then we have vertical pupil so all the vertical pupil snakes we largely they are night active snakes and then there is very special pupil arrangement in case of vine snake what we saw the first they have a uh, um, horizontal pupil so horizontal pupil means they have a binocular vision while catching lizards so as uh, we we all probably have seen snakes and we also saw that snakes while they move or they uh, every time they take out their tongue why they do this this is just because tongue is the most important uh, sense organ for the snakes uh, as you know snakes don't have a R opening so it is the airborne sound which produces it's very uh, it's uh, it's not very much accepted by the snakes so they don't depend much on the airborne sound rather they depend on their tongue so whenever snake comes out they take their tongue out and take the chemicals of the surrounding environment and again take it inside the tongue when they take it inside 
snake have a very important organ called Jacobson organ on the top of their mouth floor. So when these uh, ke chemicals were taken to the Jacobson organ, then brain can analyze what uh, is uh, what is there in their surrounding by which they can sense. And also snakes, uh, most of the vibration of the uh, surrounding environment, they take it through their body. So that's why they are very sensitive to the vibration. So as you know, snakes, all the animals have different types of uh, defense mechanism and defense is the most primary for somebody's life. So in animal kingdom, we have uh, two different types of defense mechanism. One is passive def defense mechanism and one is active defense mechanism. And in snakes, these two defense mechanism are very, very pronounced. So in reptiles, we see like this, uh, you know, you, can you see this? This is a gecko or flying, uh, flying gecko and they completely matches with the uh, uh, with the uh, tree bark where they say so this is one of the passive defense like you know uh, our army our uh, cops so they have a uh, combat dress while they are fighting in the forest so why combat dress because that combat dress give them the passive defense that is uh, nobody can see them in the forest so just like that uh, animals also develop uh, adaptation by which other animals cannot see them so this is you can see this is a uh, surface where these snakes stay and this snakes coloration exactly matches with the surrounding so this is one of those adaptation then can you see some what is there something very peculiar but uh, from the distance it will be very difficult to identify but here there is one lizard and this lizard is exactly matching with the rock surrounding so nobody can identify what is there and if any uh, pre, uh, the predator like birds or other snakes cannot also identify it. So that's why it will be saved. And here in uh, Barail Wildlife Sanctuary also we have seen this is a stream and this is a road also. And uh, we, we, we go this way and this is one snake which coiled among the leaf. And it is, although this, uh, all these leaves are touching everybody's head but nobody can see them. So this is one of the defense mechanism. They exactly match with the surrounding. And this uh, one of those acrocorded snake, uh, the uh, one of the salt water snake, as you see, it's near the seashore. It completely gone under the mud and staying there, just uh, opening the nostrils so that it can uh, take oxygen. And then this another cat snake, after feeding all the birds, it's staying inside the bird nest. So when the there will be digestion is over, it will go out. So, and then this is another dendrolepis, uh, it's, it's uh, called uh, in Assamese, it is not Karkhola hub. So this, this snake is, is mimics like dry branch. So whenever there is a dry branch, the snake will uh, go in onto that and it will extend its body like another dry branch. So from the distance, somebody will not recognize it is a snake, but it is a dead branch. But these are the passive defense, but there are some active defense also. So whenever passive defense is over, whenever somebody will catch them or try to kill them, then they will show some active defense. So this is one of the kukri snake or oligodon, which is found in Nagaland. So uh, this snake, whenever uh, somebody wants to catch it, so it immediately hides its head and uh, raise its tail and display the tail in a circular fashion. So this is one of the remarkable display because he knows that um, his head is the most important organ for him so he tries to save the head and in that way he raise the tail so predator's concentration from the head will be diverted to the tail and in this way he will be saved then another snake so i ask people what is this snake so most of the people they say this is a cobra so why cobra because it's uh, taking a hood but uh, actually this is one of the most common snake called uh, uh, water snake or dhora hub so dhora hub or water snake somehow came to know that there is a very dangerous snake called cobra and people are afraid of cobra so just knowing that he is now mimicking like a cobra so venomous species people will be afraid of him and he will be safe although he knows that i don't have any venom so then another um, remarkable display whenever somebody try to kill the snake so snake take different uh, different uh, dangerous position with you can see the ear opening here so with this opening and closing of that um, uh, vocal cord uh, 
uh, sex, they produce the hissing sound. So by this way, they try to save themselves by active defense. And there is the most remarkable display, you know, the most famous snake in India is the cobra. With uh, whenever somebody threaten a cobra, it raise the hood and uh, show that uh, don't come near me or I will bite you. So these are the different mechanism by which uh, they try to avoid confrontation. And this is one of the most remarkable snake, although we don't have in North East so far, this is a spitting cobra. So whenever somebody try, comes near it, it raise the hood and if then also that animal is coming to kill it or eat it, then it spray the venom, uh, dart the venom to the eye of the uh, uh, predator and in that way he can save himself. So th this defense mechanism, the main um, uh, motto of this defense is that all the animals try to avoid confrontation because all the venoms or any other things, they are the very, very precious commodity for any animal or also the snake. So snake always try to save or conserve this venom and uh, which will be, uh, which will be like, you know, um, um, destroyed if uh, he, come, he comes in concentration with the confrontation with the human being. So this is another ca green catsnake as we saw the picture. So it has a black mouth inside. So whenever we try to catch it or we go near it, it uh, open the mouth and show the black portion of the uh, mouth. So in this way, he tries to uh, save himself. So this in different mechanism. So with this end, we came to an end of this uh, diversity in snake and also their defense mechanism.